to have a second chance, and that's the case with my first studio album. I'm changing. Uh, I released it unofficially in 2005, and uh, it only had nine tracks on it. And uh, it was out of print for many, many years, so um, uh, some friends of mine encouraged me to go revisit that album, and I went back with the help of uh, Trina Shoemaker, and uh, she remixed, and I added a few more songs to it, and now it is a complete album of 12 tracks 
and it's, 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 a, it's a really great representation of, of who I am as a singer-songwriter, that album, and I'm really glad I got a chance to go back and revisit it. I finally found a home, but then I realized Mr. Graham Ray on the fiddle, y'all. I think it was just an inborn thing initially. And then being exposed to um, my mom's record collection and my dad playing guitar and singing old songs. And, and then again, uh, singing in our family church over in Spring Cottage, Mississippi was a, a big factor. And um, I used to get trotted out to sing for visiting friends and family at the house. <laughs> so I've been doing it a long time. This ain't my first day at school 
signed with any label. I put out my records myself. And um, so I don't have a publicity machine behind me pushing. I, mean, I have to do everything on my own. And that's why the super fans, Kickstarter, and sponsorship all just really come into play, because they're, they're all part of my team as an independent artist. And um, you know, I think in today's climate with technology and social media and what have you, that artists like myself really sort of have a much better chance now than we may have had in, in earlier times. The, the challenge for us as independent artists now is that because all of that is so accessible to everyone, there's a lot of people vying for your attention. That's, that's the challenge as an independent artist, is try to get the attention of, of, of you know, the people um, the people who buy the records, the people who might help distribute the records and what have you. I'm really lucky because of uh, happenstance, I've made connections overseas. And I, I'm a heavily touring artist over in the UK and Europe. And I have um, an actual three month long tour of UK and Europe coming up in about, starting in about two and a half weeks. The rain came down and the wind did out. The hurricane coming way down south. Said you stay gonna try your luck When they roll the dice Will you no more come up Way down Sideways On oh, Where the bee knows where the story to tell Bow their heads and whisper farewell Go from Mexico, shining so bright and blue
but there's nothing left. A cold heart slab and nothing else. Will you run away and try to start over again? my live shows I, I would like people to take with them the feeling of the music the experience of being in the moment and, and, and experiencing these songs and the chemistry that happens not only between the players on stage but the chemistry that happens between the artist and the audience it's a form of communication and it is to me the most evocative of arts because anything can happen in that moment and as an artist I try to stay open to the possibilities don't put me down like you don't need me Playing around, go on and leave me I deserve better, better than this I don't need you anymore, yeah I don't need your kisses I don't want to love I won't even miss it Your game is over I don't need you anymore yeah. I've had enough of your lying Don't you waste my time denying it I've had enough of your stuff Baby, well, I've had enough And I deserve better Better than this I don't need you anymore Go ahead I just don't need you 
anymore. Baby, you could just walk on out the door. I don't need you anymore. You know, I've been asked many times why I do what it is I do, and usually my answer is, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just innate in my personality, in my genes, or what have you. And, and the one thing that I've learned after all these years of, of singing and playing is that it's really important to get back to the original reason why you did it. As a performer and an artist, you can get sidetracked sometimes, for instance, worrying about what other people think about what you do. And so I have to remind myself to go back to the truth of what it is that I do. And the truth is the most powerful thing out there. And it, it means that the feeling that it gave me when I did it, it made me feel empowered when I first started singing. It made me feel like I was, I was heard. You know, that I, I actually was being heard by other people. And, and to express those feelings inside and to have the vehicle for it. Um, so I try to remind myself to get back to that place where that's what really motivates you. Is that you, you know, you have this desire to express these feelings, at least that's the case for me, and to go back to that. You know, not worry about the other stuff. Just get back to that feeling that, that's inside of you. Turn around and then be gone. Where, oh, where is the love? How could you leave me so lonely? Treating me this way. Wonder what I did. Oh, where, oh, where is the love?
job, guys. Thank you so much.